you talking about? I ain't got no damn experience, man. I smoke weed every day, man. What's up, man? This your man, Terry Johnson, man. Mr. Can't Keep the Job, man. You know, since the last time you see your boy, man, I got fired from the rental car place, man. I done moved out the crib with my mom. I ain't moved far, though. I just moved up the street, man, to my cousin Rocco house, man. You know, he a street dude, man. But I ain't into that, man. So I'm out here pounding the pavement, man, trying to find me a new job, yo. You know what I mean? I'm hitting up every little spot I can find. Guaranteed, man. I got to give me another job, man. Your boy got to get some money around here. You know? If I went to suburbia, they ain't had nothing. She just looked at me all crazy, so I stepped. I left up out of there, too. Man, I'm going to keep my hopes up, man, so I got to find something, man. So I'm out of here. I'm on the grind. Huh? Ammunition. When I slide up on the ammunition, Joe, I'm like, yeah, I got some experience in pistols, man. I keep fresh air cartridges in my BB gun every day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I got experience. Walked up another holler at my man's, man, see what he talking about. Nothing. Your boy just ain't got no luck right now. But I'm still out here, man. So I'm finna keep on searching. Cause I gotta find me a job, man. I gotta find something. Dead ass. So I'm just riding, walking through the city, though. I'm just thinking, like, man, where else can I search, man? I'm about search every place that I can sit for, look for a job, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm about running out of options here. You know what I mean? You know, but I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I gotta find me a job, man, cause I can't stay living with cousin Rocco, man. That dude crazy. Feel me? I can't do it. You know? Went to 24/7 supermarket. Nothing. You know what I mean? I'm about to lose hope at all, all at any moment now. And I walk into this little auto shop. You know what I'm saying? So I help on the sign. So I said, I'm going up there and check them out. Boy got the job, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That boy got the job. I'm employed. You know what I'm saying? It turns out, man, this shop, he, the shop owner, man, he needed some help around the shop, man. Somebody clean up and uh, pick up stuff. So I was on that. A good thing I found that job, cause this started raining like a mug, boy. So I had to hurry up and get home, man. I had to tell cousin Rocco the good news, man. Let him know, man. I found the gig, man. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't got to holler at his boy Franklin for me. You know what I'm saying? When I let my cousin know, man, like, yo, cuz old Joe, I found a job, man. You know, good looking with your homie uh, Franklin, though. But I don't need him. So he's like, what? Man, you got a job. He's like, man, where you going to be working at? So I told him, man, I'm going to be working at this little auto body shop, man. You know what I'm saying? God needed him a little help around the shop. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody to drive a truck making pickups, man, and, and service calls, man. So he hired your boy. And uh, Rocco still doing like, uh, did that. He walked out to his room. So next day, man, you know, I've been at work for a little while, man. I'm taking me a smoke break, man. You know, boss had called me over to the office, man. He said he had a service call that needed me to go on. You know what I mean? So I was on that, man. Your boy just happy to have a job. You know, I'm ready. By any means, man, I gotta get this money. Yes, sir. Now, this tow truck, man, it's one of the dopest tow trucks I ever seen in my life, man. Had rims, lights, man, tinted windows, man. And all that, man. He called it the boss, man, man. He told me not to scratch it, man. He told me to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? I got it, you know what I mean? I to learn how to work this clutch. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I got it, man. I got it. You good. So it's been like three weeks time. I've been working at the shop for a minute, man. My boss Jason was over there. He called me over. So I came over there. He wanted to holler at me. When I go over there, he tell me, man, he, I've been doing good around the shop, man. He like how I work, man. He want to promote me to his driver, new tow truck driver. Well, outside of service calls, 
I'll be picking up toes and dropping off cars for him. Was I interested? I told him, hell yeah, I'm interested, man. Is it more pay? Told me there's more pay involved. So I was with it. Hell yeah. Let's go get these cars. So you know what I'm saying? Your boy on his first mission to get his first toe. Get this money, man. I ain't playing with him. So I was on my way to get this car, man, from my boss, man. Said it's over at Los Santos Customs, man. I rocked the plaza, so I was on my way to get it. Little did my boss know, man. I ain't never told no car before. Hey, but with money involved, man, I learned quick. You know what I'm saying? So I was on it. Let me get this car, man. Yeah, I said it was right there, man. So I pulled up and I got to work. See, damn. See what I forgot to do when I put the car up here. I forgot to strap it down. So I lost the cargo. It fell off the back of the truck, man. So now I gotta go back to the shop, man. Explain this to the boss, man. Let's see what happened, man. Fired, 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 man. Damn, man. Turns out, man, losing that car off the truck, man, cost my boss a lot of money, man, in insurance, man. And he only has some, so much in liability, man, so he had to let your boy off. So now I got to go home and tell my cousin, Rocco, I done got fired, man. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the next day, man, Man, I had to get back on the job point, man. Because for some reason, man, I just don't want to holler at my, my cousin Rocco Cap Franklin, man. I got a feeling that there's something shady with it, man. And besides, man, I heard they was hiring at uh, Senior Buns, man. So I'm going to go over there and see what's up with it, man. Boy, am I working in the fast food. Might get some free takeout with it. You know what I'm saying? No luck up in there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go across the street to Taco Bomb. Where the tacos are the bomb, yo. You know what I'm saying? See if they got a place for your boy up in here. Yeah, yeah, yo, what up, what up, what up? Y'all hiring? No, I ain't gonna hire me, man. I even checked out the Valdez, man. They said they was reopening that bad boy. But I got tired of walking around searching for a job, man. And I said, I'm finna call the quits, man. I'm going back to the crib. Man, a week went by, man. Man, I filed my taxes, man. So I got fresh like everybody else, man. And I hit Franklin up, man. I decided to, to, to see what he about, man. Turns out Franklin run Uber X, man. You know, it's a company, man, where they do like advanced chauffeur service, man. High dollar. You know, I just had to put down a little front money to get started, man, for my license. So I was like, cool, man. He gave me the info, told me what to do. I was with him, man. I'm like, yes, yeah, sir. And we're going to see what's up with this, man. 
So I got on the bus, man. I went to the airport, man, to touchdown car rental, man. Man, not too far from Escalara, man, the place that I got fired from, man. You know, I told him I couldn't get a car from there, man, because they was on it. So he hooked me up with this boy up here, touchdown, man. So we finna go up in here and get this car, Joe. Yeah. See the way this Uber actually works, you know what I'm saying? You get a call on this text on your phone, you know, giving you the name of the passages and everything, and you just pick them up. But first, man, I had to slide by my old job, man. I had to go pick up my last check, and to see it, let them see me flex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed that young check, man. I get back to the car, man. I see I had a notification on my phone, man, for a pickup. I'm like, oh, some dude named Phil Paco. They said five star, four star. Oh, okay. Man, when this guy get up there, he coming out the courthouse. I'm like, man, what the hell? I like turns out, man, he's some celebrity dude, man. That, they played in the Public and Space Ranger movie, man. He was, you know, a stand-in or something. You know, he going to the premiere, man, over at Hollywood uh, Movie Theater. And he don't know how to sit in the back. But it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get this money, man. For this Uber X Jack, man, you're getting like $45, $50, $60 a trip. You know what I mean? So I'm on that, man. I'm trying to make rides all day. You know what I'm saying? So let me get this guy where he got to be clock them dollars in you heard me yeah feel good to be back working though you know what i'm saying so i got him here man dropped him off at the uh premiere I let him out no sooner did i let him out yo man got a beep on the phone again on another drop off in the pickup like yeah let's go i'm on it I'm trying to get all the money right now. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I even stopped, man. And got me something to eat, man, from the Lucky Plucker, man. The double plucker sandwich for cheese, man. It'd be fine. I had to grab that. You know what I'm saying? Yup. Got another notification on the phone. Another pickup. Some guy named Eugene, man, at Eclipse Towers. You know? Once I get my food, man, I'm up there. I got him. I accept the trip. You know what I mean? Like this Uber X, man, it ain't bad, boy. You know what I'm saying? You can make some real money doing this. And the ride's sweet. You know what I mean? Franklin hook your boy up right here. You know what I'm saying? So I pull up to Eclipse Tower, man. And I'll pick up my next ride. You know what I'm saying? This guy named Eugene, man. He's an entrepreneur. He want to go to the strip club. So I got him. You know what I mean? I'm from the hood. We out here, we gone. See, after I dropped that fare off, I was finna call it a day, man. I made a good 300, man. But then I got this call for $150 fare, man. Some old dude. He had a couple of places he had to go. You know what I mean? So I was on it, man. He was a cool old dude, man. He ain't say much in the car, man. You know? 
But hey, I'm just finna take him the way he gotta go, man. His first location is the hospital, man. So that's where we headed, man. Finna drop this old dude off, let him give his prescription, man, and wherever else he gotta go, man, so I can get this money. You know what I'm saying? This UberX ain't that bad, man. I should have been doing this a long time ago, man. For real. I mean, what I was thinking. So we get to the hospital, man. I'm pull up and park, man. Let the old guy out, man. And he told me, I'll be right back, young blood. I'm like, man, that's the first thing he just said the whole ride. I'm like, oh well. So I just pull up, I wait, you know what I'm saying? The old dude come back out, he get back in. You know what I'm saying? Nine second location, man, is the bank. So, all right, all right. I guess this old guy finna go pick up his social security check or something, man. So, you know what I mean? We on our way to the bank. But this time, man, on the ride there, man, the old dude asking all kind of questions about the car, though. You know what I'm saying? How fast it go. How much it costs, man. How long I had it. Stuff like that, you know? But I ain't think nothing of it, man. It's just an old dude, man. You know what I'm saying? He probably used to them old school cars, so he probably ain't used to nothing so souped up like this. So, I ain't think nothing of it. I'm just trying to get this old dude to his next location, man, so I can get my money, man. You know what I'm saying? But then he got to talking about how he retired, man, you know what I'm saying, from, from his profession, man. I kept asking what his profession was. You know what I mean? He like, ah, I was an entrepreneur. I was some bad thing. I was freelance. I'm like, what that mean? He never elaborated on it, man, so... I ain't asking no more questions, man. I just pulled up to the bank, man, so I could let this dude out, man, so... I can get more money, man. You know, the old guy get out, man. You know, he go up in the bank, man. I'm chilling, man. I ain't thinking nothing of that. And all of a sudden, man, I hear all kind of gunshots and guns going off in the bank, man. I'm like, what the? What the hell? I'm like, all right. Now, that sound like gunshots, but I guess not, man. So I ain't paying attention, man. That thing I know, man, the old guy got the banger in my face. Pulling me out the car, man. Yeah, you know, telling me to get up out the car, man. You know what I'm saying? This is a stick up. I'm like, man, hold on, bro. I like, I just got this job, man. He like, man, fuck you, old nigga, young niggas. You know what I'm saying? This old school game. And then he just drove off in my ride. I'm like, you bullshit. I like, man, nah, man, nah. I like, some told me to take my ass home, man. See, now I gotta go home and tell my cousin, man. I done got fired again, man. How did this happen to me again, man? I can't believe this, man. I just got robbed by Bill Russell. I hate that old dude, man. Damn. 